And looking back on it, I don't know how he did all the things they had to do in my lifetime. I've been lucky in my aviation career. I've been involved with everything you can be involved with. General aviation, instructor and in airline career. When I retired, I was also the pilot that had flown the longest for an airline over 41 years. It's so been really lucky. Flying has always been my life, and I feel fortunate to have spent my life in aviation. My mother took me for my first airplane ride when I was seven or maybe eight. And it was in a staggered wing beach craft, which is built in Wichita. I remember I just loved it, like down in town, and you just see everything from there it was just great. When I was 12 years old, I just got to the farm. My grandmother had a farm outside of Wichita. And uh, I would go out there on uh, weekends and during the summer. They started selling some airplane surplus, training type planes. And there's a guy uh, named Orville Sanders that was buying them. He'd probably buy them for 300, 400 bucks. And one day, he said, what I'd like to do uh, is over there in your grandmother's farm be a great place but an airport. He said, do you think she'd be interested? And my grandmother knew how bad I wanted to fly, you know, and how much I loved aviation. And so um, two weeks later, they had not worked everything out. The airplane started taking off landing on the, her farm. So it started right then, and I never went to farming again. I went to the farm, but to the airport. And by the time I was 13, I knew quite a bit about how to fly. Look at the airline industry today, it's changed the world. Aviation was well along when I started. World War II had happened. But they built tens of thousands of airplanes. One time when I was about eight years old and a little airplane came buzzing along, just head chopping across the field. And I was watching my grandfather said, don't ever fly one of those. He said, they're terrible. He said, uh, you'll get killed or something. I remember that, but of course, and I wasn't worried about getting killed. So when I was uh, just coming up 19 years old, our chief mechanic at the airport had a trade plane, which is a magazine about airplanes and aviation. And he said, hey, let me show you something. It was an ad there from United Airlines. that I finally wrote him and uh, was assigned to, I had my choice, of either San Francisco or Los Angeles, which is unheard of, is it lucky? We drove to California, LA, started flying, skill pilot on DC-3, it was just wonderful, you know? And by the time I retired, I was number one seniority. My life's been a lot of the good luck. Aviation was great to me. I've seldom met an airplane I didn't like. I was going to get drafted. When I came with United, I was 19, and the Korean War started. I found out about the Air National Guard. You go to training, which I did. Best thing I ever did. I had great time flying jet fighters and everything. And great people in the National Guard. First person practically I met is Jack Conroy. He was had more flying time than anybody in the Guard. He had 10,000 hours. Conroy became you know, one of my very best friends, and we did a lot of things. Conroy was in the guard. I was in the guard with him, but he got out of the guard. We were flying C-97s at that time, Boeing Stratocruisers. I had proposed a big airplane to carry things for NASA. And Dex started building the guppy at Van Nuys Airport. You could tell how much money he had by the sound of the ribbon guns. Normally, we just just busy as heck. When things would get down a little bit, money, you'd hear dit, 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 dit. Jack asked me to fly it with him, first flight. And we flew it up to Mojave and landed. And the next day, I took it up with another friend of mine in the guard. We did some testing to be sure it was really okay, safe to fly. The airport wasn't crazy about it, the FAA wasn't. But then we flew it down to see Winter Von Braun, and he'd been up here twice while it was being built. He liked the idea, you know, for sure. 
can see how much time I can save them because they were just getting into the Apollo program. It was being built in California, but they were going to ship it through the Panama Canal. It took 30 days. And the Gabby could fly down there in two days, you know. President Kennedy had uh, said they'd put a man in the moon in a decade in the 60s. For the eyes of the world, now look into space, to the moon, and to the planets beyond. Well, they would never have done it if they had to ship everything by land. So it became very important. Flew like a stratocruiser. It didn't fly that much different, except it wouldn't go as fast and then it wouldn't go as high because there was a lot of drag on it. There were people predicting bad things that it just would hardly fly because of too much drag. And Boeing was interested in it because they were going to build a 747. So when we flew it, it had lost about 15%. Boeing was happy about that because it would fly the 747. So it proved out be an important airplane for several reasons. Being in aviation, I never felt like I worked a day in my life. When I got involved with Learjet in 1964, it was the first little airplane that would keep up with the airliners. 1969, I started Clay Lewis Aviation. We had the first jet charter business in the West Coast. We were well known in Hollywood and everything. But I was doing a lot of flying. Douglas and Boeing all needed film work. So I decided to offer Boeing a free film job with the letter. When they saw how fast we could get back together and do things, man, they were, Douglas was just, the guys were so impressed. And they started doing all their work. I got real involved with photography, aerial photography. And when Bill Lear sold Learjet, a lot of the military, Air Force, Navy, did a lot of jobs, filming jobs for United Airlines, too. And then uh, Hollywood, a lot of, I think, uh, involved with over 50 movies. Flight of the Intruder, The Great Santini. We shot Top Gun, did all the aerials in Top Gun. We were doing probably five to six jobs a month. I think. Uh, we feel we flew over 3,000 photo jobs, really busy. I've been very lucky in knowing we're great people. Aviation has just been wonderful life. That's the most important thing in life, in my opinion, is who you meet. And um, I, as far as the future of aviation, I, it's big time now. And, and I would recommend anybody get an aviation because I think it's a good life. I don't think as many people are interested in it, young kids as they were. First time ever, there's a real pilot shortage coming up. I can say for any young person now that is interested in aviation, please pursue it. It's a good life.